First, though, Diego Romo spoke with Intermountain Healthcare about their work to try to bridge Utah's testing divide. The lack of testing for Utah's communities of color has led to higher rates of infection in those communities. Marco Verdeja with Intermountain Healthcare says it was an issue that was seen early on in the pandemic. Around March and April, we had rates of infection of cases that were double or almost triple the population that we had here in, in, the, in Utah for Latinos, for example. Marco Verdeja says this is because communities of color tend to have limited access to health care resources. There's this hesitancy of reaching for access, but there's also a lack of access. He added that affordability can be another factor to the lack of testing. Our responsibility is to allow people to know where they can go, where there is no cost. Both Utah's Latino and Pacific Islander communities have seen this issue. Latinos make up 12 percent of total tests, but have a positivity rate of 27 percent. Pacific Islanders account for only 1.4 percent of tests and lead positivity rates at just under 28 percent. To increase access, Intermountain has begun using mobile testing units which bring testing centers directly to the community. We took those mobile testing units and we targeted specifically areas where we saw that there were a larger population of affected individuals. Intermountain has never asked for insurance if you don't have it or has not given the test if you can't afford it. Marco says increasing access and providing equitable care increases trust in the health care system. Particularly with, with vaccination coming sh uh, shortly, um, that trust is uh, very needed. So we need to go from getting us ourselves tested uh, all the way to getting out of this pandemic uh, together. Intermountain has resources on their website in both English and Spanish for you to learn more about the virus and where you can find available testing locations. We'll link you over at fox13now.com. In Salt Lake City, Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah.